Hi, and welcome back to the Watchman Channel. This prophetic word comes from Daniel Emerson, Bardstown, Kentucky. The show's about to begin. If you're a reformer or a forerunner to the church, don't quit. The enemy is pulling out every stop coming out of the straits. In this hour, do not bow or cower at the smear campaigns of prophetic witchcraft. It's all smoke and mirrors sent to manipulate and intimidate you. Your threat, because you're called to disrupt the systems of darkness and their agenda. But let's face it, Jesus' worst enemies were the Pharisees. False religion is subjected to people when spiritual politicians pull the strings within the church. Today's modern-day Pharisees are more evolved with a prophetic edge. They adapt the ways of witchcraft and train up their companies of prophets to do the same. This is no other than the prophets of Jezebel and Baal playing out all over again. This agenda is sent by the enemy. It's, it's for the spirit of the reformer. But that's right, it's a prophetic showdown for you. Despite how divided the church may be, it births great opportunity to destroy this attack that separates and divides the family of God. Because the reformer comes to bring unity under the lordship of Jesus Christ, false systems and networks, they will continue to use the divide and conquer tactics. The spirit of a reformer, like the Elijah mantle, is needed more than ever to usher in hope to the church and the unchurched. Elijah is a prime example. He challenged the people to declare whom they would serve, Jehovah or Baal. His reformation message released. It was released, and it turned the hearts of men away from pagan gods back to the heart of the Father. Hallelujah. Let's pray, friend. Heavenly Father, what an encouraging word. Lord, I pray that we would not quit. Lord, that we would see today a showdown like Elijah, like Elijah saw in his day. Lord Jesus, that we would be found chasing after the heart of the Father. Lord, that we would be found standing up against the divide and conquer tactics. Lord, you are truly the God of all gods. You are the Lord of all lords. And we praise your mighty name. I thank you, Lord, that we can stand in the face of today's modern-day Pharisees. Man-made religion, false religion, prophetic witchcraft, none of that can stand. When we have you, Father, when we have the Holy Spirit, when we are covered in the blood of Jesus, Lord, I pray that the forerunners don't quit, that the reformers don't quit, that we hang on to the end, encouraging the church, encouraging the unchurched. The show's about to begin, friend. What a word. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.